Happy birthday today. Happy birthday, John. Y'all get ready to sing Happy 21 to John? Yes. Yeah. Ready? Happy birthday to you. 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 you say the name of your band? Strafe and the Heart Soul Meditation. Now, you guys might have heard of a little tune called Set It Off. These are the ladies and gentlemen of Set It Off. They perform tonight at Le Poison Rouge. Talk a little bit about your sound, your performance, and what we can expect to come in month. Well, tonight was a showcase to feature the artists, um, uh, Jerome Andre and Miss Devlin Cole. Kathy Waters is not here. Uh, Radar is usually on the uh, Set It Off set. He's usually percussionist. He was a sound man tonight. Bravo was taking a break, giving lessons. He's a dancer. He's usually uh, you know, tearing stuff up and wrecking people. He was, but he's, you know, he's, he's just a busybody, so he gets into whatever's going on. But I'm strafing, you know. And uh, we're here for uh, the Behind the Groove uh, Masquerade Ball. And where can our IT TV viewers find you on Facebook? Your contact information, where can we find you? Uh, strafe, uh, Strafe Standard, uh, uh, hardsoul.com, setitoff.net. Um, strafe, uh, S T R A F E. Play it safe. And the rest of your bandmates as well? Uh, yes, Debbie Cole, Jerome Andre, Roger Radar Washington, Bravo Brahms La Fortune. We are the Hard Soul Meditation. Or oh, some of them, some of us, some of them. We are. Ah, uh, because, 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 because. Set it off, I suggest you. Okay. You heard it. If you could just let me go, I'll come right back. is running the inspiration behind it your lyric song making process well I'm from the 80s so I remember Cindy Lauper I remember a lot of people from that time so I wanted a beat that could reflect that like open moment that chapter of New York City so I said let me write a song and a friend of mine from Paris Paris France DJ Dopey he sent me a track that he felt was like what I was talking about when I saw him and then it was just magic 
romantic. It was the universe. And some people said, oh, that's not a good track. It's not a good song. But I was like, I'm going with it. That's how you killed it. I'm going with it. And I have some dancers who were like, I'm ready to dance. So I was like, let's go. You guys dance. I sing. It's a perfect combination. And speaking of dance, talk to me a little bit about Full Circle Productions and what your goal is tonight. Well, tonight what we wanted to say was that dancers can do anything. If you want to sing, if you want to write a book, if you want to, you know, create a film, do it. Because the type of like focus that it takes to dance and be amazing is the same type of focus you need to do anything in life. So really, that was the message tonight. If you see me, you see anybody at this party, we're all trying to make our dreams manifest. So come on with us, behind the groove. Where can everybody find you? All of our IT TV viewers, quick step right here. He's eating birthday cake, by the way. Mwah. Birthday cake. Today was Float Master John's birthday. We definitely bow our heads to him. He started so many people's careers in New York City. But he's on the underground, so so many people don't know. But for us, you can find us on Facebook, Behind the Groove, group page. Contact us. Request us. We'll add La Roca in the house. Thank you. Thank you. Hey everybody, I'm in the house with Quickstep, the last B-boy in New York City. I'm not the last B-boy. Hey, everybody gives you that title and it must mean something. Explain the significance behind that title. Well, there was a time when there wasn't really anybody breaking in New York. And um, I looked around for a lot of breakers and everybody had really stopped. And so I really felt like I was the last. Um, I felt alone. So I tried my best to preserve it on my own. And little by little, I started finding people in the pocket, you know, doing their thing. And I give a lot of credit to the hitters. Those are the guys that dance in the street because they hit the concrete every day. And they kept the breaking alive when it, when it came to the tourists um, wanting to see it. And the reason they said that I kept it alive as far as the b-boy is concerned, because I kind of lifted b-boy culture as far as I dressed, the Adidas, the Pumas, I had my black book, I always was doing pieces. I was always practicing my footwork, uh, my freezes, and always passing on the knowledge as far as what b-boying really was as far as the culture. Talk a little bit about the importance of your crew in hip-hop and b-boy and break dancing. Well, I made a group, I made a, uh, a collective called Full Circle. First, it started out as a group, but then I made it into an organization and a not-for-profit organization along with my wife because I felt that organization is what we needed in order to preserve what this really meant to us as a culture and the four elements of hip-hop is what's really important but you know everybody knows it as graffiti the, the breaking which is the dance the DJing and MCing but the most important one is knowledge knowledge itself it's like four wheels to a car but you're the driver and if you don't have knowledge of where you want to go there's no sense of having a car so the same thing is what we promote through Full Circle, and I modeled it after like Zulu Nation, because it was an organization that promoted positivity over negativity. And that's, I wanted to do the same thing, so I thought there should be more organizations, so I made a hip-hop organization, a breaking not-for-profit organization called Full Circle Productions Incorporated. And the dancers inside of Full Circle are called Full Circle Soldiers. And the legacy crew to Full Circle is my original crew called Fresh Kids from Coney Island. And where can our ATV viewers find you? You can find us at FullCircleSoul.com. You can find us at Behind the Groove group page on Facebook. Um, and you can find me at Quick Step on Facebook and Rockefeller. And uh, she also goes with the name La Roca. See y'all in the cypher or behind the DJ booth. Peace. ATV everybody.